Hello, this is Donnie Smith, and I'm going to show you in this video how to use the technical data sheets because that really is an important part of uh, you know properly using the materials or you know the equipment or whatever you're using. And I want to teach you how to use these because the products that I use here may not be the products that you use, and you need to learn how to 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 read those you know regardless of what you're using, and and that way you have all the proper information that you need to to properly use the the stuff so let's go ahead and get started okay I'm just picking one of these I'm in module 7 and we're let's just talk about this uh, epoxy primer in shop line and some of these are PDF and some of them you know which you'll have to download and some of them are just uh, they're online so kind of depending how I found them Okay, now this is Shopline. This is an epoxy primer that we're talking about. And it these really give you exactly everything you need to know about this product. You know, it talks, it talks tells you about the, the background. It tells you that it comes in gray, white, and black. So it comes in three different colors. And uh, it can be applied over sanded metal, fiberglass, and sanded painted surfaces. So it can be applied, you know, over quite a few different uh, surfaces. Uh, the primer, you know, that's the numbers for you know, the 375 for white and the gray and the blacks 377, and they all use Catalyst JH3770. So you know exactly what to mix with it. It talks about the, uh, the compatible surfaces and what this can be applied over. For example, you can apply this over the, the primer surfacer, which is JP202. And uh, primers, that, primers that can be applied over this one because there's some primers that cannot be applied over other coatings. So that's something that you need to know. It talks about preparation, and of course, you see here clean with wax and grease remover. That's always an important part. If it's bare metal, it needs to be sanded with 120 to 180. Uh, body fillers, anywhere from 220 to 320. Mixing ratios on this uh, two parts primer. One part 3770, so you know exactly how much time to, uh, or exactly how much, uh, th what the ratio is, and and uh, and with epoxies, usually you don't have this, but right here it says allow a 15 minute induction period before applying. This is very important. If you don't let that set, it's not going to mix properly, and you could have a lot of problems. So that's a uh, that's good to know right there. And you know we've talked about pot life. How how long can this set in uh, the cup? You know, usable. And epoxy has an, a really long pot life. You're usually not going to have it this long, but this has an eight-hour pot life, which is really good. Uh, if you want it to spread a little thinner, it says uh, additives, which is you know acetone may be added up to ten percent. And Go back up here. Well, how many coats do you put on? Well, it tells you right here. One to two coats. One or two. Air pressure. Remember I talked about right here it tells us at the air cap. And, you know, that doesn't do us a lot of good. Just about everything's HVLP. I wouldn't pay too much attention to the conventional. But at the air cap, you know, that's not really telling you what to set it at the gun. But usually double that. So probably 16 to 20 is going to be uh, a safe bet to start with. And you may need to know what size of gun to use. You know, fluid needle and tip and a nozzle. You know, anywhere from a 1.3 to a 1.6. So this product has a really wide range. Probably depending on how you're spraying it. You know, if you're spraying it as a, like a sealer, you know, it's going to be thinner. Dry times. Uh, dry times is, uh, tells you 15 minutes if you apply one coat before you apply the, the top coat. And if you apply two coats, it's going to be 30 minutes. And this is going to wrap it up with part one. We're going to get back to you here in just a little bit with part two, and we'll finish this.